guys. I got interviewed. But it wasn't by the KGB like you all think. Anyway, I'm here with Senya from St. Petersburg, Maine. Hi! <laughs> Hi guys, today we're uh, doing a video with Jason and this um, video will be called An Australian Living in Russia. So, let's do it! Now, interchanging between locations for <laughs> filming, we got split up. Here she's arriving now. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> Eventually. So, Jason, uh, please introduce yourself and uh, please share your background. Like maybe your education, um, where have you been working, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, my name's Jason and I'm from a small country town in Australia, in mm -hmm. New South Wales. And um, my education is only uh, through year 12 at high school. Mm -hmm. And um, working background is pretty much started working in a warehouse and then moved into web development. Mm -hmm. Is it interesting for you to develop websites, programs? Yeah, I love doing it. It's, it's good fun. Mm. I like nice. solving I don't problems. understand anything in that. I have a website, you know, but <laughs> it's, I'm just, um, I look on the internet of how to do that. I look, read, and, oh, well, works! Surprisingly, <laughs> nice. I still do that myself. <laughs> oh. Yes, but other than that, I cannot do. I, I don't understand anything in web development. So you're quite a specialist, I think. So, okay, thank you. And my next question was, um, how did you end up in Russia? And um, 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 uh, what is your maybe background here when you are? here? Mm -hmm. Well, I was married to a R Russian and um, unfortunately that didn't end well, mm -hmm. um, which is what brought me here in the first place mm -hmm. uh, because it was a lot simpler process initially for me to immigrate to Russia mm -hmm. than for her to Australia. Mm -hmm. um, but then uh, pretty much I just decided to stay and just um, enjoy life here. Mm. So um, you said that it was easier for you to migrate here than for your ex-wife to migrate to Australia, right? Correct, yeah. Oh, oh but uh, so uh, it occurs that, but um, oh, let me put it in that way. Um, so whose the idea was to migrate here was you uh, like very enthusiastic of oh, why Russia? <gasps> I'm moving to Russia, or like oh, okay, it's easier for me. Okay. Oh no, we we discussed it and made the mutual agreement that mm. it was mm -hmm. far easier for me to relocate, and also with my job, I can work anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. um, so it just made sense. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, okay, so, um, oh, try to, to remember your first day in Russia, maybe after your flight, what was strange, what was unusual, what impressed you in positive or negative way? Um, it was the system of the minibus, the Mashutka. Oh. Mm -hmm. I never understood that on the first day and mm -hmm. um, I think I got myself lost. Um, but then I found my way. But yeah, that was probably slightly scary. I mean, having I'd been here 
twice previously, mm -hmm. I kind of knew the city a little bit, uh -huh. uh, which did help. Um, one of the major downsides though was shopping in a supermarket. Oh. The way the aisles are structured here are a lot different to what I'm used to in Australia. Um, mm. And there's products that you can buy in a supermarket in Australia which you can't buy in a supermarket here. Mm -hmm. Like something as simple as a band-aid. Mm -hmm. oh. Supermarkets here, I, I found, never sold band-aids. Oh. Um, you had to go to an apoteca or a yeah. to so It was quite a strange for me to have to oh, do that. Where are <laughs> those things? Where, how do you live without them? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So speaking about um, speaking about um, stores, uh, we can um, proceed with food. Um, so, uh, do you like Russian food? What do you like the most and what do you like the least? <laughs> um, I like all Russian food. I can't say I don't have a least favorite. Um, but I absolutely love things like borscht and mm -hmm. pelmeni, Maybe. which I have to keep myself from. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, but you know the most uh, nourishing, um, like and making you bigger is a Russian pastry <laughs> and piragi pies, uh, which are very very good actually. And once they are made at home, they are bellissima. <laughs> yeah, I did come across because we have plenty of bakeries here. Uh, mm -hmm. I come across the Sasiska of Teste. Sasiska of Teste, okay. Yeah, uh, sausage in a pastry. Okay. Um, I got addicted to them. <laughs> I would have maybe three or four a day. Oh, that's <laughs> too much, yeah. It is. Um, so I have to limit myself on going to a bakery. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I see. But what is uh, the least? favorite food? Maybe holodets? Do you like holodets? Um, it's been a long time since I had that. Oh. Um, but most Russian food I, I try is quite tasty. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's nice because I heard many, many um, opinions on YouTube in other YouTube videos that foreigners don't like holodets. Holodets is a um, jelly that is made of uh, um, broth <laughs> with uh, pieces of meat. So it's a meat broth jelly. <laughs> yeah, I, when I last had it, I never had much. A uh, mm -hmm. little bit, because it's a bit fatty. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit fat, yeah. Okay, and but do you miss something from Australia here? Maybe food or something, some services or some things? Um, if I didn't say I miss my family, my mother will kill me, <laughs> especially if she watches this video. <laughs> um, yeah, but besides missing my family, <laughs> um, I miss Australian meat pies. Oh. They're, mm -hmm sort of like the best in the world <laughs> oh so once you are in australia please check out <laughs> meat pies australian yes. meat pies okay uh, and um um so maybe there are some things that um, russians should adopt from australia and australians should adopt from Russians, so what uh, what could that be? Um, it's hard to say. There's many different things. Um, maybe driving on the left side of the road can be adopted in Russia. Oh no 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 no! no. <laughs> because it still confuses me when I'm at a pedestrian crossing. Oh. Um, I'm still looking 
in the passenger seat for the driver. Because mm. in Australia, that's where the driver is on the right hand side of the car. Oh, you know, I was I was thinking that only the UK has this system of uh, sites. Yes. Australia, New Zealand, Thailand, and a few others. Oh my God! How do you guys leave? <laughs> oh. Um, okay, so uh, left left sided roads. Okay. Yep. Maybe something else. Um, let's try and think. I mean, there's a lot of cultural things that I see in Russia which I miss when I'm in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, the lifestyles are fairly similar in a way. Mm -hmm. um, like family and things like that and going out to cafes or restaurants and so mm -hmm. it's all pretty much the same mm -hmm. okay so um so we are more alike than we are different very similar yeah yes i got a lot of comments on my youtube videos then people from many many different parts of the uh, globe just the oh we do the same oh we do the same we do this way too uh, and <laughs> some little things which you notice as a foreigner with different people but it comes down to the personalities really mm -hmm. yeah different personalities I mean, it's the same anyway mm -hmm. oh okay so um maybe i Oh, let's discuss stereotypes. Um, so, uh, what is your opinion on the stereotypes that um, Russians drink a lot? Has it proved to you or...? Um, yeah, over time it's proved to me that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Russians don't drink vodka every second of the day. Um, when you first hear and you make new friends, they greet you with vodka mm -hmm. just to <coughs> be stereotypical mm -hmm. um, and trying to be funny. But um, no, I mean, yeah, that's the biggest stereotype, which is completely incorrect about mm -hmm. how much people are drinking. Um, it might have been in the past mm -hmm. that. A lot of Russians were like that, mm -hmm. um, but here in like the megapolises like St. Petersburg or Moscow, they're not like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, uh, for example, in my circle, there are no people who drink at all. For example, I I drink uh, like occasionally some some wine or something like cider, but I don't like like heavy. Like this heavy drinks, alcohol drinks like uh, vodka or what? What? What are other <laughs> vodka, <laughs> whiskey? Whiskey, yeah. I don't even know how to <laughs> name them. <laughs> so um, yes, and what about um, stereotypes that Russians are rude, don't smile, um, like uh, they can tell you what they think right away. Is that true or...? Yes and no. Again, it's the personalities. Mm -hmm. um, most Russians that I know um, are always very polite, welcoming. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they're, if they're strangers, they're more interested in you as a foreigner, like, why are you here? Mm -hmm. they just a big question in the mind. And Usually if I say I'm from Australia and some people have a heart attack because from so far away. Mm -hmm. um, but not smiling, I think it's a changing thing in the culture. A oh. lot more people are smiling now than they used to be. I remember when I was here as a tourist the first time and because I'm used to walking on the street and you say hello to someone. Mm -hmm. Uh, even a perfect stranger. Um, I was doing that here. 
and people would look at me like that's crazy. <laughs> but now it's not so much. Mm -hmm. Usually, if you make eye contact with someone in the street, mm -hmm. uh, you can just use your, just say it's trust with you. Mm -hmm. They'll just nod their head and move on. Oh yeah, that's how I do that. If somebody is just a complete stranger, just says "Привет," I said I say "Привет." And we are parting and go. It was it. It's not very often, but mm. it was like maybe two or three times. They like "Привет, здравствуй," and, and go. <laughs> and I was and I was like "Привет." <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so maybe you could share with us, with me, your uh, dreams of living in Russia. Maybe you have some plans. What is your global plan for living in Russia? Um, well, I am looking... Maybe not so too personal, no. we are not uh, having I'm, details here, but... I am looking at um, opening up a Australian-themed restaurant, obviously mm -hmm. sourcing investors for that. Um, mm -hmm. And that's taking a little bit longer than I thought it would with COVID. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll eventually get there. Uh -huh. So that's the ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, um, I'm happy to see how Russia's been improving over the years since I've, I've been here. Mm -hmm. um, it's becoming more and more like a normal, especially in St. Petersburg, more European. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I like. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much for your uh, opinions, for your uh, sh for sharing your opinion. Uh, thank you. I'm very glad that I met you, that we are uh, friends, uh, and uh, it's always nice to talk to somebody <laughs> in English. So when you study Russian, I will speak to you in Russian to practice. <laughs> yeah, my study on that's a little bit slow. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, um, I, I, I remember now that you um, once told me that you were impressed with the Soviet culture. Is that Yeah, right? it is an interest of mine. Uh -huh. um, I do like looking back at the Soviet culture and what it was like. Mm -hmm. uh, because to us, we couldn't see it, mm -hmm. so it was just what we were told, and so it's just interesting to sort of delve into looking at that culture and the things that were part of that time, basically, mm -hmm. and a good old Soviet ladder. <laughs> Soviet ladder, yeah. Oh my God. Several bad puns later. Okay, uh, what are your impressions after six years of living in Russia? Uh, Russia is a good place. Um, people are very welcoming, and um, it's not like you hear in the Western media where they portray Russia as a bad place. Mm -hmm. um, also, in ways they say it's unsafe here as well. Mm -hmm. for foreigners but um, I mean it's not until you get here that you realize it's actually better than what they tell you oh okay I see but have you been traveling to other cities or regions of Russia um, mostly only to Moscow uh -huh. um, I've only been to a couple of villages just outside of St. Petersburg mm -hmm. so okay but I I um, I assume you probably heard that <laughs> Moscow and St. Petersburg are the best cities in Russia and they yeah. are the richest. So yeah, st standards of life uh, in other regions are a little bit lower, but still, yeah, Russia is a good place. <laughs> it is. Oh, and why have you um, chosen St. Petersburg for a living, not Moscow? Um, I like St. Petersburg. I mean, Moscow is good. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a very big city um, and it takes forever to get somewhere. Where oh, St. Yeah. Petersburg, <laughs> you can easily walk to somewhere, 
if mm -hmm. it's not too far away. And um, it's not like in Moscow, I found when I was, uh, was there the last few times, friends would say, oh, let's meet here. It's not far from your hotel. Mm -hmm. And you look on the map and you think, okay, it's about 15 minutes to walk, but it's not. <laughs> it's uh -huh. about 40 minutes. <laughs> but same sort of thing here, it is mm -hmm. about 15 minutes. Oh, okay. It doesn't take as long. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do you work somewhere here in St. Petersburg for a Russian company or do you work uh, remote? I work remotely for my own business in Australia. Oh, okay. I see. And uh, do, you, um, do you know, uh, have you accounted how much expenses do you have a month here in St. Petersburg? Just let's talk on that. Maybe approximately or something like that. It's approximately um, fifty thousand rubles. Mm -hmm. um, I don't buy expensive things or mm -hmm. things I don't need. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's about a, a thousand Australian dollars. Oh, mm -hmm. month, which is so it's. I think it's quite reasonable. Reasonable for Saint Petersburg. Mm, it's like average. Expenses. Yeah, it's about average. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Saint Petersburg, yes. Uh, so, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, and um, do you know Russian? Can you speak Russian? What um, is your skills? It's not the best. Um, uh -huh. I mean, most people speak English to me here, so it just sort of limits my learning. But. Um, I, I can understand about 30% most of the time oh, of what 30. people say if they okay. don't speak English. Mm -hmm. So I sort of piece together what mm -hmm. I do know and have an understanding from that body structure. Mm -hmm. um, for me to approach someone and start talking Russian, it's not easy. <laughs> oh, it's not easy. And regarding this question, um, is it easy for you to live in Russia not knowing Russian? How, how does this, uh, how is your impression about this, like speaking only English? Um, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. Yeah, I mean, going to places like supermarkets, I mean, you can read prices of things. Mm -hmm. and you have an understanding of that but you don't really need to talk to someone at the casa when you're mm -hmm. paying for stuff um, but I mean in cafes and restaurants I mean because I can read Russian uh -huh. um, more than I can speak it it's um, not so difficult oh. sometimes I have to get the translator out and uh -huh. translate words I'm not familiar with but um, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And um, so uh, it's quite okay uh, for you to speak only English in St. Petersburg because, yes, yeah, St. Petersburg is a big city and many people here can speak at least some English. And even in um, um, stores, cafes, they understand it. Um, but um, what uh, what are your plans for studying Russian? Uh, do you plan it or just ah? Uh, <laughs> I occasionally sign up to an online course, uh -huh. um, and then I get bored because every time I sign up to a new one, it's take me back to what I already know. Oh. So I sort of mm -hmm. lose interest and uh -huh. I just learn on the street. Oh, okay. I mean, that's how I've learned most of my Russian that I do know. Oh, uh -huh. that's interesting because, you know, um, my journey with English was mostly classic education. So, mm. <laughs> so I really don't understand how people study on the streets. I really don't. But if um, you can, that's, well, that's really fine. That's I mean, awesome. It's a, it is a difficult language to learn, but to hear people speak um, like sometimes I'll just go into a cafe and just listen to it. Uh, mm -hmm. um, it's like in 2013 when I first came here as a tourist. Mm -hmm. um, I get bored with walking around and then 
mm-hmm. I could sit in a cafe and listen to people speak. Mm-hmm. And back then, I only knew the very basics, like greetings and the numbers one and two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. all I knew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I hope that this noise <laughs> is not uh, heard there. <laughs> Probably. So, okay. What is your advice to people who want to move to Russia? Because nowadays many, many uh, foreigners want to live in Russia. So is it um, okay to come here not knowing Russian? Or do you mm, advise to learn at least some? Or what is you know, I would advise people to learn basics, like greetings and mm-hmm. like countings of 10 or something like that mm-hmm. you sort of have a minimal understanding mm-hmm. uh, because usually in my experience um, if you greet someone in Russian um, then you ask if they speak English they're more open to speaking English to you mm-hmm. um, wherever you start off speaking English to them only mm-hmm. people can close up because it sort of sells them in a way Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, study some Russian before you move here. <laughs> so, okay. I think we are.